<laughs> gang, gang. Boom, boom. That's hairspray, you goon. <laughs> Get your life together. It is. Idiot. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. The greatest show on earth. Hot in here, man. It is hot in her. What's up, bro? Dude, why don't you do You don't want to keep, do it with those shades on? You want me to look? Oh, I thought I was too Top Gun. <laughs> I, are, we, are we shooting Top Gun 4? I just got offset. <laughs> Is that what we're doing? Oh, bro. Yeah, we just got offset of Top Gun 4. Dude, you honestly look like, an, like a f blind guy that's athletic, like kind of like wants to gamble. <laughs> so you, look like, dude, you do not look like Top Gun 4. Look like Top Gun 4, bro. Bro, you look like Bottom Gun Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my dude, god. I don't bro. look like that. No, put them back on, dude. I don't want to wear them the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Only assholes wear sunglasses inside and blind yeah, people. Keep them on. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's uh that's a Larry David joke. And look, is that a onesie you have on? It's a romper, bro. It's hot girl summer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also selling skinny tea now on Instagram and got Are a blood ass. What's up, bro? <laughs> You got a problem with the romper, dude? You know how long I've been searching for this thing? <laughs> how, hey, how, how about I wore it last night? I wore it last night to the comedy store. <laughs> and you know, whatever. Everyone has terrible fashions. So I don't give a fuck. I know people are going to make fun of me. But we're all sitting back there. And then I, and then Bill Burr walks. And I was like, oh, fuck. And he just, like, he just looks at me and goes, <laughs> he just looks at me and goes, you look like a mechanic from a musical. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> all. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> we were talking about it last night. We were talking about last night. They were, they were, yeah, Phantom of the Shopper. <laughs> <laughs> Phantom of the Phantom Body. Of the, Phantom of the Cockra. <laughs> yeah, Phantom of the Body Shopper. <laughs> we were talking about last night. They were talking uh, about King this thing and us roasting each other. And they said, out oh, oh, of your friends, uh, some random dude back there said, out oh, of your friends, who roasts you the worst? I went, Oh, it's not even close, the old man. <laughs> I said, he told me I look like the guy that makes smoothies for Drake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't beat that, man. What are you talking about? Yeah, and yeah. I, I hit the stage last night. I go, I know uh, I look like a Nordstrom mechanic. I'm very aware of that. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> but I did a... give you credit for that. Okay, good. I was about yeah. to say, good. You're you using my jokes on stage. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just can't believe you're dressed in a, I can't believe you're dressed like a job you probably never had. That's the worst part, too. That's like, I, is that I, I, Dickies? I, I, uh, no, no. Oh, Bubba, no. If I'm going to wear it, it's not going to be Dickies. <laughs> is I'm nice. not poor. I can't be wearing Dickies. Poor. Dude, Dickies. You mean hardworking. Yeah. <laughs> blue collar, Brendan? Yeah, bro. <laughs> no, bro, not Dickies, light blue bro. collar is the best you would do, bro. <laughs> Baby blue collar. You know, I was a janitor, though. My really? first job, I was a janitor, Oh, bro. where at? Yeah, Albertsons. Ooh. It's like King, it would be like Ralph's here. Do you? It's yeah. It's a grocery store. I don't know what Albertsons is. Is dude. there Albertsons out here? Uh, no. But I know see, they don't know what we're talking it's about, bro. Yeah, so. There's Albertsons everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's 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 worldwide. Worldwide. <laughs> Nationwide. <Albertsons. laughs> worldwide. <laughs> Mr. Albertson's <laughs> worldwide. He thinks the planet ends at Florida. First of all, <laughs> we're talking There's to There's no Albertsons in yeah. Florida, bro. <laughs> Brendan limited maps over <laughs> here. Shab. He got a bad globe. It has two continents on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and one of the continents is a Dave and Buster. <laughs> <laughs> but it just says Dave and Busts bro. on it. <laughs> bro, I wish you had your hair out, man. Dude, I I'll have it out, I thought, bro. Did you get a haircut? Uh-uh. Wash my hair, though. How expensive was Dr. it to Sasha buy the Washington. wig from Patrick Swayze when he passed? <laughs> <laughs> was that, that expensive? Dude? I got it in a state auction. <laughs> okay, hush, it's real. It's real. <laughs> it is real, bro. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while, man, when we do the show. I feel you, dude. Uh, how, you, how you doing, brother? Doing pretty good, man. Are you? Yep, chilling. I got this new Rat King hitter right here. You got here. the merch. I see you I see you with the side hustle. Had to Shuffling finally. merch with your little twink on Instagram. <laughs> right. Hey, can we get a different model? God, look less thirsty, whoever that model Bro, is. That He's all fucking guy, buy it, man. He's fucking thirsty. buy it. Uh, uh. That little guy. I is. was like, oh my God, Theo. I don't want to buy this because I'm not a thirsty. gay man. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it had definitely a gay aftertaste. Bro. It, looks like, it looks like a souvenir from a fucking glory hole after I get done, oh, yeah. dude. I was oh. like, I'll take one of those. Dude, every, everything you end up talking about has your wiener in it somehow. <laughs> it's not my wiener, it's yours, bro. Well, somebody's wiener. Somebody's. Well, I will say this, dude. Yeah, those some of those items definitely rather homeware erotic. Dude, those the shorts we have, you put them on, and there's another dude in them. <laughs> That's <laughs> Some dude already wore them. Yeah. They smell like nuts. Yeah. Dude, I can't believe... Uh, 
I can't believe our nuts last so long. Can you believe that? What do you mean? Like our nuts for our body, you know? <laughs> yeah, and they get bigger over time, yeah? Your nuts, your nuts f so get saggier over Don't time. Don't ask them, bro. Oh, Derek got some bangers. Oh, I, got, I got a sack. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. I believe Derek his, has his nuts. nuts. His nuts slap. But first bro. of all, I'm not <laughs> I'm going from you. His, his, his nuts slap, bro. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's how you know someone has big nuts. Yeah. When you go, his nuts slap. That's how you know that Derek's more than a friend to you if you know that his nuts slap. Also. I know, dude. I'm <laughs> okay. aware. I talked to his girl about busting nuts and slapping. <laughs> Every episode, this ends in a big bust fest. <laughs> bro, the other day I walked out of here and slipped and hurt myself. <laughs> This place has Derek's got to, girl we need was to out of dry town. this room up, dude. And you guys need to get Christ, too. And Derek should have some church in him. Yeah, you could use the little church, Dave. I think you. a lot of these new brothers, bro, there's no, there's no, the Lord ain't in there. There ain't. <laughs> they ain't. This is about busting nuts and gold oh. chains. Yeah, dude, they're all Trinidad James or whatever that guy is, you know? What was his name? Gold all in my braids, you know? <laughs> Gold all in my veins. I'm like, dude, you'll get mercury poisoning. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make sense, does it? What was that? He I know died. what you're talking about. I, I know what you're referring to. I think, to. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Sean Kingston hit him with a damn jet ski or something. He killed him. How many guys has <laughs> that kid, that fella killed? Dude, Sean Kingston, First is he all. even <laughs> from the Bahamas? Or is he Jamaican? I don't know. Dude, they said he wasn't even Jamaican. He had a lisp, bro. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> but he just really ran with the Jamaican theme, didn't he? What was his? What was Sean Kingston's number one hit? Huh? He had some bangers. Had some bangers. Speaking yeah. of slapping nuts, he had some bangers. Ugh, you guys are disgusting. What was Sean Kingston's number one hit? Yeah. Beautiful girl. Why you don't ever Why does he look like Magic Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> does he? Yeah, look at him. That's a young Magic Johnson. Bro, he's tragic them Johnson. Aids. He's tragic Johnson on a jet ski, dude. <laughs> Jamaican Johnson. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, he's a beautiful guy, bro. Look like he got stung by that Jamaican wasp, though, Can he doesn't hoop? he? Do you think he can hoop or not? Absolutely not. Him and Chappelle, would, it, the score would be two to one. Really? <laughs> in two hours. They couldn't even get through a game of horse. Good to be here. Good to see you guys, Derek and Kat. Good to see you, buddy. Culture Corner. Yeah, what's happening over there? Oh, nothing, man. I did some Joe Rogan and Friends last night. It was awesome. Oh, really? That was Everybody. fun, Oh, huh? dude. Brendan was there. Dude, at one point, it's a tell. Bill Burr, Ali Wong. Everybody's just in the green room. Damn. Fitzsimmons was telling stories about Patrice. It was just fucking And I'm in a awesome. romper. Really? And he I'm in a in fucking romp, romper, bro. Not shocked, bro. I know you're not. Yeah. Not But shocked. I feel comfortable wearing around you. Huh? I feel comfortable wearing this around you. What? That sentence seemed like you got fucking caught up on a turn somewhere. In really? It. Nah, yeah. bro. A U turn. <laughs> yeah. I was going to back out of it, but I just kept going. <laughs> Sometimes I'm you just got to carry man. through, bro. Thanks, bro. You feel me? Sweetie to say, dude. Sweetie to say you feel comfortable around me in that. Um, Patrice O'Neill, huh? Oh, yeah. Fitzsimmons, because, you know, him and him, Joe, and they all started in Boston, Fitzsimmons. So uh, he oh, was wow. telling us great Patrice O'Neill. Burr and uh, Patrice were close. Yeah, oh, Burr, Patrice, close. Fitzsimmons and Patrice, they started open mics together, bro. Damn. Oh, he was telling us some great stories. I love uh, Burr's take on uh, Louis C.K. and just all that stuff, oh, man. Yeah, he was yeah. hard in the paint in the green room. Yeah. What, uh, what did Patrice die of? Diabetes. Oh, that's just damn. not taking care that's of yourself, hack, bro. bro. That's <laughs> a, dude, hey, that's <laughs> lazy, bro. That's <laughs> lazy. That's the most hack African American death in the world. <laughs> Diabetes. Come that's on, weak, bro. bro. They would write your own death. I know, man. Because <laughs> if you just saying. if you just eat right, you watch Amy sleep. Schumer die of it now in a couple of years. <laughs> 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 She'll probably get her leg taken off yeah. in two First years. First, it's her leg. Yeah. <laughs> then she comes out as gay. You know, that's then she'll how do it goes. A foot dude. in my mouth tour where she has like a cute foot in her mouth, <laughs> a fake foot yeah. with fucking mustard and ketchup on it. Yeah, <laughs> Dang, man. Well, that's awesome, man. That's crazy. Yeah, being in that environment when there's like so many just just Hit killers, killers. Up there. Yeah, man, they were beasts. That was awesome. That's crazy. What if the, so? Yeah. What if a missile would hit or something? You know, Kyle he's dead. Hour, yeah. Well, we still got Chappelle. As long as I'm going to kill Chappelle, you're yeah. good. Who? Chappelle Lacey? Uh, no, <laughs> no Sh Dave him. Chappelle. <laughs> Bill Burr, I think. As long as somebody kills Bill Burr, you're. Good. I think Bill good. Burr's number one. Yeah. 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 But at least you still to have me. Chappelle. Yeah, Bill, Burr's number one to me. By yeah. 
Depend Pardon. depend on your flavor. Chappelle, Bill Burr, yeah. Louis C.K. Man, those are those three. First of all, how's the Amazon on fire? I thought it was a rainforest, dude. Yeah, I feel know. like fire's not gonna travel that fast. Also, you're not getting my money. You guys yeah. could use a little less acai. You feel me? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. If you guys would back off that cocaine over yeah, there, you'd be all right, bro. Yeah, you'd realize that you can't burn down a rainforest, dude. You guys are coked up. That's you guys what are you coked are. up trying to burn down these goddamn water trees, yeah, surfing. All the goddamn time. No one's in jeopardy. Yeah, why don't I uh, throw a couple of Aquafinas into the fireplace and start a real roaster? I you bet- can't fucking do it, okay? Liars over there. I, I agree. I'm not buying it, dude. Dude, get me out of this bullshit. Show me a burning tree frog. Dude, get the fuck out of my face. climate warming, climate change, dude. Pick global one, bro. Global warming, global... You know, dude, you don't think they want beaches in Alaska? Everybody's ready for their turn, You don't think they're waiting for beachfront property? (laughs) That's what they're waiting for, you dummies. Bro, Anchorage. Those cabins turn into beachfront. Bunch of thoughts out there in Anchorage walking up and down the beach. Talking about the polar bears are going to die. Yeah, those things are fucking a nightmare. They're going to die. They're going to die. They're going to die of looking at big tits on the beach. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> after, they're going to die of sunscreen. Yeah, yeah. Fucking poison. Yeah, after and drinking. Coca Cola. Yeah, Get the fuck out of here, bro. Those, yeah. those polar bears are always drinking Coca Cola. Yeah. Dude, those polar bears want to brown around a little. They want to be brown bears. Yeah, you, you know? don't think they want to fucking take a little cruise to the States <laughs> on one of those glaciers? Everyone's for global warming, bro. Well, I don't want a bunch of it, but I say a little every now and then. You yeah, know? a little melty melts Every never couple bad. thousand years, bro, heat it up. That's what I say. <laughs> More water, the better, bro. Warm like it up, water Chris. World. I'm, I'm about to. Warm it up, Chris. That's what I was born to do. Warm it up, Chris. I'm about to. That was the jam. Crisscross. Make you jump, bitch. <laughs> Good God, dude. Let's Global get into this. Global warming, bro. Why not? Yeah. A little. Just a, all I'm saying is a tad. Heat it up a tad. Yeah. Let's warm it up. Pressure, <laughs> I'm about to. <laughs> Pressure, man, makes diamonds. Quit being bitches. Yeah, everybody. Also, polar bears kill everything. Yeah. You think they're nice bears. They show them having a soda and, you know, lounging around, you know, having a snow cone or something. Yeah, that ain't real, man. Making ices. That's all fucking White House propaganda. Go hang out with a black bear. They're oh. not fun either. Dude, they're over that's there. That's not a racist smoking thing. Smoking or doing diabetes. <laughs> yeah. Playing dominoes. <laughs> I don't trust them, dude. <laughs> uh, hibernating, sleeping all the time. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. You that's sound... trick, daddy. Now it's everyone's favorite time. It's a commercial from King and the Sting. Bro? Yeah. The time is here. It's football what season. Oh, shit, dude. Antonio dude. Brown is on infe- the Raiders. I thought you had an infection. Nah, I'm so crunk for football, dude. The... Levon, Bell? You talk, you're talking about Bell? It's Le'Veon. I call him L. Bro, yeah, first of all. L. Bell. Le'Veon. I call him L. Bell. Yeah, you can't just put a comma anywhere in your name, okay? It's kind of confusing. Yeah, it's kind of uh, confusing, bro. There you Isn't go, it? dude. Odell Beckham, the Browns. That's my team this year, by the oh, way. Yeah. Browns and the Raiders. Those are my two teams. I'm from Denver, so we'll take you. Easy. Listen. Listen, if you want to make money, bro, Mm -hmm. on this NFL season, go to MyBookie. It's the place to bet on football every weekend. Yep, MyBookie has better bonuses and more props bet than any other sports book, period. Yep, and this year they're hosting the first online handicapping super contest. First place is guaranteed to win at least $100,000. It only costs $100 to enter. All you got to do is pick five NFL games against the spread every week to climb the leaderboard and score your share of the huge cash prize pool. So that's pretty That's pretty feasible, probably. Pretty dope, man. You know, football, you follow football. Why not make a little cash aina while you're doing it? And listen, I use them, so that's why I recommend it to all the King and Sting oh, listeners. Wow. That's why my bookie is always the right play. You bet, you win, they pay. Period. My bookie has live in-game betting on every NFL game. That's National Football League. They got mm-hmm. the most rewarding player perks in the business. Is, uh, you know what I'm saying? Is Larry Fitzgerald gonna... You know, will he spit out his gum inside the 20? (laughs) Who knows? Lay 40 on it, bro. Who knows, bro? But if you keep betting like that, it's going to stand for not for long. If you keep betting for that, your cashing will be around very long. Yeah, will some weak bitch fall out the stands, dude, into the parking lot, you know, at a Bills game? 
Are players going to take a knee? Late 30 We don't know, him, bro. bro. I hope we not, dude. Know. Let's play ball. Will I'm Kaepernick pl- play this year? Fucking doubt it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know who plays? People that can play, brother. Correct. Up to $1,000 first deposit bonus. Double your first deposit. Get paid. Use promo code CATS to activate the offer. Visit MyBookie online today. That's M-Y-B-O-O-K-I-E. And don't forget to use the promo code CATS when you create your account to claim the bonus. Bet, win, get paid. Yeah, if you like gambling, then this could be a good experience for you. MyBookie.com, promo code CATS. Someone's got to pay for Brennan's coffee habit. Dude, I keep telling you, bro, transformation is an important part of our lives, especially us, man, our careers. Whoa, whoa, what are you telling me? We're always evolving, dude, and growing, which makes our life's pretty interesting. Our sponsors for this segment, I'm talking about Wix, invites you guys, the listeners, the watchers, to tell the story of your career transformation visually by designing your new homepage on Wix. Wix up, Wix down, boy, get your Wix up. Now, Wix is a place where you can build a website for something, for yourself, for a business, for a company. Uh, I, I wish we'd known about Wix when, when we were building our website. Me too, man. And listen, they got this cool competition going on right now. We're encouraging the King of the Sting listeners to build their websites right now. Create a creative homepage, a homepage that highlights why your career journey is unique, just like you guys. Wix is the free platform that empowers you to build a highly customizable, robust website, dude. Busted. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Email submissions to Wix, W I X, loves, L O V E S, cats, K A T S, at gmail.com. Ice Bear and the Mouse is a humorous homepage that promotes a new podcast. Understated, but cool. The first thing we see is an eye catching image of a bear on the left of the screen. On the right half, Elizabeth clearly indicates the name of her project. What's it about? An Instagram link and a contact email. And just below the fold, there's some brief but informative copy about the founders and their plans for ramping up the business. It's a fun and inviting homepage, one that generates interest in using visuals. Nice. We'll review the best submissions from you in each of the next five episodes. In the sixth episode, we'll announce the grand prize winner of the Wix Business VIP Premier Plan, free for one year, a value of over $420. I know we have a lot of creative uh, uh, um, cats viewers. So. Yeah, I can't wait to see. I'm about to bust. Once again, the, the URL is wix.com slash go slash cats. Submit your best homepage to wixlovescats at gmail.com. Dude, you're bust. Disgusting. Someone got to pay for Theo's haircut. You guys want to start it off? A little chide my ride? Chide my ride, baby. <laughs> Up first, this is Riley Hobbs from Berkeley, California. This is Riley's oh, car. shit. Watch too much National Geographic, apparently. <laughs> Truck fun. Look at them zebras on the front. Right? Zebras in the front, Trump in the back. <laughs> Trump, oh, wow. Fump. Oh, it's a fuck Trump thing he's got. Yeah, you got it. You can uh, you can miss me with the whole political shit, but I like the zebra shit. <laughs> See, yeah. Yeah, the, Look whole, at the, zebra the whole political inside. stuff. You can't have that car and people aren't going to take you serious. So it doesn't matter what message you have on there. Also, gluing all the zebras on the car. Let me guess. Single? <laughs> Let me guess. Single? Let me guess. You give all your money to the fucking National Wildlife Association who just steal it? Oh, yeah. And they, buy hairspray? Yeah, they that's what that they do with that on shit, there. man. Well, dude, a lot of the cats are giving them pills and stuff in Japan, and they... If you haven't seen any of those, a lot of the animals, I think we talked about it. They got tongue out the mouth. They can't see or anything. Yeah, their vision's going on. And the Chinese are over there doing photos with them. Yeah, they are, man. They're fucking giving the tigers NyQuil and shit. And look at these zebras, bro. Bro, also chill out on the zebras. Look at the goddamn garage. Oh, yeah. (laughs) The zebras aren't endangered, man. Matter of fact, we should kill more of these goddamn (laughs) (laughs) boys. Dude, turn on National Geographic. They're everywhere bro <laughs> yeah the lines are like dude give us a fucking break here they're impossible to kill you can't see them <laughs> and it's uh yeah and they <laughs> can't you see them are you colorblind it depends <laughs> it depends yeah, that's bro. True, bro. That, that's why they that's why they have stripes no that's why they have stripes that's why they have stripes bro they're hard to see in nature no. did you know that uh i know you're trying to convince me of it right now <laughs> okay 
<laughs> Dude, I watched Planet Earth seasons one and two, so <laughs> suck my dick. Oh, whatever, bro. <laughs> suck this spotted zebra dick, bro. I want to see Planet Earth after this climate change, baby. That's what Me I want to see, bro. AK Water World 2, baby. Yeah, dude. Buzz, buzz, water, water. That's the real Planet Earth. I want to see just a couple of motherfuckers smoking cigarettes out there on a pyramid, and that's it. <laughs> Me too, the smart ones. Yeah. <laughs> With gills, bro. The last animal's a cricket. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just yeah. a cricket. <laughs> <laughs> or a baby elephant using that fucking tusk as a yeah, snorkel, yeah. bro. Using that tusk as a straight smoking rocks in that bitch. Like the women, those four by four land cruisers to snorkel, baby. Just fucking cooking buds on the end of that thing, man. I can't believe more, an uh, uh, they don't have more elephants smoking dope, bro. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I somebody agree. put a screen in the end of that in the end of that snout and just cook a big gram on there. Bro, that's a brilliant idea. Then just see him fucking wig the fuck out in Africa. Uh, <laughs> what if you just started playing the trumpet out of his fucking tusk? Your dick, <laughs> 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 just a rave. <laughs> Yeah, just got his All the elephants are like, oh up. shit, here we go, here we go. That's the ears crazy, are like bro. this. <laughs> yeah. Elephants on meth, dude. Try it out. Don't knock it till you try it. Also, listen, again, there's too many zebras. The other thing is, why don't we own more zebras? Why don't we domesticate zebras, dude? They look cool. You could ride them. They're wild as fuck. Are they rideable? Have you ever seen anyone ride a zebra? No. You can ride a Datsun. We used to have a little small boy bus who was real strong, and he would ride a, um, one of those... Uh, Wiener dogs? No, I think it was like an Australian Shepherd. Yeah, if they're strong enough. This, I mean, these are pretty strong, man. Australian Shepherds, they came all the way from fucking Australia. Yeah, you're right. They made it. You ain't getting a no weak <laughs> ass little, you know. Yeah, the weak ones died. On well, some over. of them, you know what I'm saying? You don't see like a, uh, you, you don't see like a, um, Egyptian, you know, dog over here. Because them bitches can't that. make it. There are Egyptian cats, though, you know. Hey, this lady with the, the whole zebra thing. This what? a man, huh? Is this a, this a dude? This is a Riley. Actually, I could go uh, either uh, way. Riley's yeah. probably a dude. Probably well, not. Dude, either one. Just like balding, lives in sweats. All the money goes to National Geographic Association. Bus nuts to zebras. You can't wait for the next documentary to come out. I'll tell you this: Joe Rogan would say hunt Sahara. this car and eat it. I know that. One hundred percent. And then pick and then post a picture on Instagram of how tasty it is. Bro, Cameron Haynes would grill the back seat of this fucking car and eat that bitch. <laughs> yeah, he really would. So you got some real hitters, bro. I think, uh, yeah, dude. I think, yeah. Be safe out there. If you find a chick that'll bang in the back of this, dude, you gotta keep her, dude. You gotta keep her quiet, bro, because it's the same kind of chick that's probably gonna file a file a lawsuit against you. For, a Me Too movie. Yeah, just because against you and the zebra. A lot of chicks won't even fuck unless there's a Me Too at the end of it, especially in San Francisco. No, so, you ain't lying. Yeah, good luck out there, buddy. Yeah, shout out to zebras. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Hopefully we helped. Oh, good. Up next, this what's he is... looking for? A relationship advice? No, that was just his. She wanted his ride chided. That's all. Chide my ride. Yeah. Uh, up next, this is. Uh, Brandon sending in Willis's Jeep, his uncle Willis's Jeep. Oh, God damn, Willis! 1958. Trying to get in that, trying to be an extra in Mad Max too. I feel now, you, bro. Uncle Willis's Jeep will beat the fuck out of that first vehicle. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's for sure. Dude. This thing's frosty, dude. Oh, yeah. This probably this thing probably runs on straight up hard wieners, bro. <laughs> this thing you know runs on testosterone. <laughs> fuck oh, it, that bro. thing is dope, bro. This thing probably runs on deck of 200, bro. Yeah, you ain't lying, bro. Uh, Find this thing parked out front of a gold gym, most likely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet the seats smell like wind straw, bro. This thing is ripped. Uh. He uh, he spent the last five years building this bad boy himself. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a picture right here where the uh, transmission blew out. Oh, this guy's wife is missing. I know that, bro. <laughs> because if you have that much time to build this, dude, your wife is missing. Yeah, something's going on. You're yeah. compensating for something. Yeah, well, she probably, oh, he's always like, yeah, she went to the stream to get water, and we haven't seen her in a couple years. <laughs> she'll be Sh back, though. Yeah, sure. That's what he says. She'll be back. Sure, Willis. <laughs> sure, Willis. She's in the garage, bro. I've seen forensic files. She's in the garage, bro. I'm guessing this thing has no radio. None, none of that shit. This is just so. the nitty gritty Mad Max style. Oh, this this thing. dude probably got some twenty two inch python arms, no sleeves ever, yeah. jean shorts. Probably got his little twink in the other fucking shotgun, <laughs> and they're just road tripping and sucking, bro. Floor it, floor it, Willie. <laughs> floor it, Willis. Yeah, hit it, Willie. Yeah. <laughs> hit it, Willie. 
Fuck yeah. yeah. What else do we got? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, up next, this is Chris. He's sending in his neighbor's car from Van Nuys. This is Chris. Fuck yeah, Fuck boy. Fuck hell yeah. And this, I think, this car this has more of an Asian vibe in it. Let's go to Cat on this one. <laughs> you think Asian? A little. What do you think, Cat? I don't know what it is, honestly. Ah, zoom What's in? Asian about it, too? Yeah, I don't see I get think Asian. just like the, it's kind of a little bit lower. It mm-hmm. feels like. Those rims are Asian-y. Yeah, it feels like it. there's a plan that ha- it's almost done. It's like a work in progress. Oh, to me, it feels like a white dude who really yeah. likes Asian girls. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he's signaling to them. You like know? he's trying to be Asian secretly, but on the low. Yeah. yeah. Or it's little bow wows. He just fell on hard times. Or he's just, just trying like, to get recognized from Fast and Furious. Or Tokyo just a little trip. bow. You little know, bow. some guy who likes Asians, you know? Yeah, you're right. He a just black hang- guy who likes Asians, a little bow. And a little bow, and he just hangs out of, in front of karate schools, <laughs> trying to pick up the young chicks. Yeah, bro. Hey, baby, Selling let's go blue get- belts out of his fucking <laughs> trunk. You want to get high ya? Yeah. <laughs> high ya, girl. <laughs> Mr. High ya, your girl. <laughs> yeah, and this is a Ford Taurus, is it? Uh, no, they ain't no Taurus, is it? There ain't nothing yeah, Asian about like a Taurus. A Camry. Dude, why, yeah, there was always white dudes that wanted to be black when I was growing up always drove Ford Tauruses, I feel like. <laughs> white dudes who wanted to be black. Yeah, that's fair. Or a Eclipse. That was another car that Eclipse was pretty was popular. A, yeah, Eclipse were popping when we were growing up, dude. What else? Uh, uh, the LeSabre's always kind of been there. LeSabre's, that, that pe- Cadillac. That was for a dude who had, they had a, that family had a little bit of money, though, if they got if the white kid. Oh, you're balling. Yeah. To be urban. Or you got that PT Cruiser for a little bit. Oh, that was tough. That thing was Adam's family vibes. You know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a creepy ride as a kid, man. Yeah, bro. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what this logo is on the side here, man. This guy trying to market some business, not yeah. doing very well. It's tough in the streets, bro. What was his name? Uh, this is Chris's neighbor's car. This is his next door. His neighbor. neighbor might be a fucking one of those real life uh, superheroes too. You know. Well, look at that. But here now, look at the rim on that. Look at that. What they call it—the rice rim or something on the back. What's that thing at the top though? That sprawler. Ooh, oh, right. oh that sprawler. I didn't even see that, bro. See, bit, that's what I'm saying. I think that's why I came in a little bit. You know, sixty percent, dude. VF yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, 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 uh, this this thing smells like back. fucking sesame chicken. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, no. <laughs> This thing smells like egg rolls. Oh, yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, this guy definitely has a little bit of General So's in the trunk. A little sweet and sour at the back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me see the whole vehicle. with, And look how the door... I didn't even see that, Theo. Yeah, that oh. thing is fast and furious up. Use this your is eyes, Vin, bro. This is Vin Diesel, dude. Hard to see out of that fucking tight-ass onesie, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's cutting off the circulation. Look at yeah, this bro. dick. Yeah. <laughs> bro, it ain't cutting off the circulation, though, bro. <laughs> that shit is flowing through. Flowing, you. Win, bro. Oh, dude, you're a fucking, bro. You would definitely be the first guy to get fucked at a Sherwin-Williams right now. <laughs> <laughs> but what I want to know is what about this, bro? You little red The jet, handles. Looking. What if the handles match that thing, match Match the yeah it seems like it's a project for him <laughs> and he's just he's trying to get to it you know he's going to pet boys once every three four weeks buying parts buying paint and it's a project that's what's going on here yeah. this looks like tyrese's car from fast and furious yeah, it does. remember when tyrese needed money it was like begging will smith on instagram yeah that shit was hilarious <laughs> Surprise, bro. he was like melting really yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, well, i need my fucking money bro and then will smith gave him money Damn. Yeah, it was great. Remember when what's his name was eating Vaseline that time on YouTube? He was having a tough time. <laughs> Stefan Marbury. Oh God. He was it? eating Vaseline. Yeah, he lost. No, you think of Amanda? Could have been Latrell. Was it Amanda? Well. Amanda Bynes was eating. Uh, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't yeah, want to she think wasn't about doing that. Well. But yeah. this is yeah. This looks like the whoever is like the Ulysses S. Grant of the people that are storming Area Fifty One. This looks like <laughs> yeah, that guy. This is that guy. Yeah. Here's an ad, dude. Support for King of the Sting comes from Manscaped. Well, you know what, dude. My crotch is looking nice, boy. Yeah, I got that fade. I got that call it Philly fade on my nuts, dude. Oh, really? I'm using Manscaped, who's the number one in men's below the belt grooming. Manscaped it's... offers precision tools for your jewels. You got cornrows around your cornhole, somebody said. That's yeah, insane. Yeah, dog, I got braids out the back, <laughs> fades in the front. 
Damn, bro. Dude, because when you're when you're not using Manscaped and you try to cut them balls, oh. you nick them. Those things bleed forever. Dude. You might bleed out, bro. Oh, bro. I'll predict the future right now. Call me Nick Stradamus, bro. If you <laughs> nick your bag, dog, you're going to bleed out, bro. Yeah, man. Don't use the same trimmer you use on your face, on your balls. What are you doing? That's nasty. Yeah, don't use a knife, bro. To fucking clean around your crotch, dude. Tighten up with Manscaped. Accidents are a thing of the past. Manscaped has that crop preserver. Yeah, get 20% off right now and free shipping with the code CATS at manscaped.com. Always use the right tools for the job. Yep. Your balls will love it. Yep, they got the skin safe technology trimmer so you can't even clip your nuts if you wanted to, bro. You could try all afternoon. Try you want or get that Philly fade on your nut sacks. Get 20% <laughs> off and free shipping with the code CATS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off. Free shipping at manscaped.com. Use code CATS. And you can also trim a little extra hair to give your junk that thicker, full look give it an afro yep get 20 percent off and free shipping with code cats k-a-t-s at manscape.com trying to keep the lights on i just got this pretty good dude i got it and i fucking forgot about it i didn't know what it was dude now my porch stinks <laughs> did you forget to bring your hello fresh indoors and your porch stinks well that's on you bro that's on you that stuff in that box is fresh fresh and also you open up it says hello bro, it's delicious the lamb jumped right out of the box into my kitchen dude organic too yeah he's in there i've been feeding Super. him goat milk yeah now you got a pet yeah. HelloFresh makes cooking delicious meals at home a reality. Regardless, you, can't, you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be no Wolfgang Puck. It's step-by-step -step recipes, pre-measured ingredients, so you have everything you need to get it going. Yep, get your nuts in your hand, brother, and make a choice. What I'm saying is this. If you have a friend or a family member and you want to make some food together, HelloFresh is a great way to spend time with somebody that you care about to teach a child to cook. You got a little child or you got a small friend or a family member that's real small or regular sized, you can cook with them. Just a human in general you could cook with them. Yeah, whatever you want to do, man. And listen, they have something for everybody. They got mm -hmm. it for you, a vegetarian, whatever you want. You're a vegetarian, bro. You a little things. hoe, whatever, dog. We whatever got it steaks. is, bro. We got you a little brat. <laughs> we got some steak for you. We got you. some brats worst, baby. They got everything. They got the Filipino. They got the, the vegan. They got the Familia, they got it all. Do Italian, do Moroccan. It's delicious. Get them it's tacos. simple. Feed it's flexible, life. bro. Add extra meals to your weekly order if you want. Easily change your delivery days, food preferences, whatever you want. They got calorie smart. They got vegetarian, dude. You hungry? You not hungry? Who gives a damn? Hello Fresh. Yeah, who gives a damn? Hello Fresh is right. For eighty dollars off your first month of Hello wow. Fresh, go to HelloFresh.com/slash cats. 80 enter code cats 80 yep that's, that's right 80 dollars off your first month of hello Damn, fresh bro hello fresh hey. for 80 smackers off your first month of hello fresh go to hellofresh.com slash k-a-t-s eight zero and enter k-a-t-s eight zero support the podcast up next debate club up yeah, first ja crispy savage ja crispy i'm Jacrispy. already liking this <gasps> bro, I know them. I'm Randy. Yeah, brothers, I'm Randy too, yeah. We I got a debate club question for you. Why if you were in a Randy? prison situation, you had no other option, what would you choose? <laughs> Ketchup or mustard? <laughs> gang, gang! Oh, and they cut it off where he said buzz, buzz. Oh, he's about <laughs> to get to the buzz. And he didn't. Very unique. I like that. Uh, he went... <laughs> The mystery finish the there. Mystery. Dude. <laughs> Who knows how this thing ends? Are yeah. they still alive? I feel so. is this are these family members of yours? What's going on? <laughs> that Amelia Earhart finish right there, <laughs> yeah, bro. We don't bro. know what happened, you know. Uh, I met them in Atlanta after the show. Dressed uh, like this? Dressed exactly like wow. that. So they wear this all the time. Wow. And they are, uh, I thought it was lesbians, bro, from far <laughs> away. Because I remember seeing, they were in the distance That's in fair. the audience. That's fair. And then I met them after the show, man. They were really, really cool. I was just exhausted. I, I, I wanted to engage with them a little bit more. Um, I would say most of my life I do ketchup, but I'll go mustard now. And I will actually get mustard and put honey in it and put real honey in it. Uh, so uh, also known as honey mustard. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah, Brendan. Welcome to 2019. Oh, like you're God. breaking news here. Good God. What, what I mean? like to do is pretty unheard of. <laughs> I take mustard, I put honey in it. You guys should really try it out. 
Honey mustard. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm also that. a fan of yellow mustard because as a keto kid Boom. here, that's how I'm wearing this romper. Boom. Keto kid, mustard, no <laughs> sugar, ketchup, a lot of sugar. Also, a little fact for your dumbass. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Dude, Brendan, he, Brendan gets an idea. First of all, you can see how. An idea? Yeah. You just act like you solved the world's problems because you invented honey mustard. <laughs> no. Just because your mom didn't give it to you I as said, a kid. I put in the work, Brendan. I mix honey and mustard. I don't buy them already mixed like some loser. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm saying. They do, do the work, okay? I'm don't doing just the work. dress like it. All oh. right, onesie fucking McGillicuddy over there. <laughs> McGillicuddy? Where's your broom at, big daddy, huh? <laughs> Dude, dress like you fucking work and don't work, bro. Hey, what time are the SATs? Why are you dressed like this? Why do you have a backwards hat and matching sweats, bro? Because, dude. Oh, hey, also, are you The Rock? Why are you wearing your own merch? I'm, I'm sorry, are you Michael Jordan? Why are you wearing your own merch? What kind of the dick wears his own merch? Bro. Bro, whose merch are you wearing, dude? <laughs> Jared Leto's. <laughs> no, okay, well. Yeah, wear your own, bro. All right, Rock, keep wearing your own shit. Hey, you know, okay. ketchup has First a... First of all, Chris Lea stole his fucking eye thing from The Rock, and let's say that shit Ooh. right here. You're talking about the eyebrow lift? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever that is, bro. Well, I mean, dude, and you haven't stole from Patrick Swayze and Dog the Bounty Hunter? <laughs> no, no one says anything about that. Bro, saw Dog the Bounty Hunter at the airport. Did I tell you that? Yeah, you did. You okay, Twice sorry. now. Uh, UFCT, whatever. Oh, wow. Okay, now you know what it's like to spend time with you, Brendan, okay? <laughs> Brendan, who has a new idea that's the same idea over and over again. You ever seen... Dude, girl? you just told me you invented honey mustard. Okay, no, I said it to you. Everyone went... I huh? <laughs> no. Do you know what else I like to do? I like to take water and I put flavoring <laughs> in there, dude, and a little sugar. I call it Kool-Aid. <laughs> no, God, bro. you got to live, bro. You got to quit wearing your own merch and just get out of your circle, bro. dude. You and that little twink filling each other up, a couple <laughs> of buckle bunnies <laughs> trying to slang merch on the side. Get your life together, bro. We're doing hey. our best. <laughs> Hey, go slang fucking honey mustard fucking out of fucking NASCAR glory dude. hole, bro. You, you like little a, fucking NASCAR buckle bunny. Bro, you look like a fucking dude who will not retire from Spencer's, bro. That's what you look like. <laughs> you look like a fucking... <laughs> You look like somebody who definitely who's, who's worked at Abercrombie and Pitch out front of the store greeting people for 30 years. <laughs> Since bro. I was 14, yeah. I did have that job. Um, you know, catch up what I was getting to before fucking Einstein McGee over here de <laughs> thought he developed honey mustard. Bro, here's, here's another thing. one. I'm thinking about calling it Dijon, and it's going to be kind of fancy, a little spicy too, you know what I'm saying? He thinks Einstein McGee. He thinks Einstein was Einstein's first name. That's the best part of this whole thing. It's Harold Einstein, you idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> what were you going to say about ketchup? There's a lot of bugs in ketchup. If you look up the stats, how many, how many dead bugs are in ketchup? Every bottle of ketchup, it's like 30 insects. In the factories, all these bugs get in the stuff. It's just, it's fast. What factories, dude? Look it up. They, they can't. Oh, no. It's just flies and shit. They can't prevent it. They get into the mix. No, they can definitely prevent it. I promise it. you. They can prevent it. Look at Derek's looking it up, so. <laughs> He'll probably get it. This is Food and Drug Administration. Quite Ooh, a few instructions. Quite a few. Tomato wow. worms, flies, beetles, spiders, and rat hair are just a few added ingredients. That gang, you gang, boy, I'm in that bitch. Time. Rat hair, son. That's right, son. You fucking How did you not you pick ketchup, for? bro? Huh? Why wouldn't you like ketchup more than uh, mustard, then, if you got some rat in there? I don't like ketchup because it just doesn't... It doesn't it's even... Too sweet, bro. Yeah, it doesn't even taste like tomato anymore. It it's just tastes like dumb red. Yeah, it tastes like big red, depending where you get it. Yeah, it tastes old-fashioned. Like, at a certain point, I'm not... Like, it's just from the past. It's like... We got to evolve into new sauces, bro. I'm about that Zatziki, bro. Oh, you're talking about that Tzatziki? Zatziki is how you pronounce it, dude. I'm not mad a little hummus. Oh, that's not a sauce, bro. That's I know. I'm just saying I like hummus. Tzatziki is also a yogurt, bro. It's not really a sauce. hummus, dude. Okay. Hummus. Yeah, no, it's okay. hum I, dude, I hang out with an Indian on the road. It's hummus. <laughs> His name's Dangerous Brown. <laughs> I fucking met his little Be ass, Be cool, bro. man. <laughs> okay. And you know what? He's missing. I met his little bomb and <laughs> ass. Yeah. I think, I think uh, yeah, I think he's gone AWOL. I think he's converted. <laughs> well. What else we got, dude? 60, I, I'm going to go with mustard. Most mustard. people are going to pick ketchup. This is obvious. 69%, though. It was a little close. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. 69% uh, pick ketchup? Mm-hmm. 
It's an easy. That's the that's, thing. That's it's easy. That's the standard. Cat, what do you guys? You guys are doing new sauces. Give us an update. Cat, yeah, hold on. I'm not not being racist. Asians like mustard, right? Like a spicy mustard. Chinese people do. Yep. You got dude, one. Chinese, basically, let's be honest, bro. They own the nation. They call them jaundice brothers, dude, okay? <laughs> Chinese are really the black people of Asia. Is that true? Mm, be Filipinos. Yeah, I can I can see that. Yeah. I feel like Filipinos are the Mexicans of Asians. Yeah. So there's a lot of them, and they work really hard? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Very family-oriented. Very family-oriented. The smiling mm. people they call Filipinos a lot of times. I've never, met, I've never met a mean Filipino. Really? mm That's yeah. some dick Chinese It's people, a though. Filipino, too, they call them that. Really? Boom. Roasted. <laughs> Roasted. Call me Ben Askren. You like mustard though, Kat? Mm. Damn, bro. Or... This is like Brendan hitting on a girl. This is a fucking, uh, you like mustard? <laughs> <laughs> well, this, is, this is my impression of Theo hitting on an Asian girl. Hey, I got this new thing you should try. I take honey. I take the mustard. You're going to have to sign this NDA. I call it honey mustard. <laughs> yeah, and they love it. What, are you guys, yeah. what sauces are you guys using over there, Kat? I know you guys have very unique oh, sauces. Oh, sriracha. Okay. That Vietnamese hot sauce. I like sriracha. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's for pho. There's a lot of sugar in that too, you know that? Yeah. Sriracha. Yeah, if you're a straight pussy, dude, I'll fucking put, I'll hide a couple of nerd ropes in my asshole, you little pussy. <laughs> put one of those red vines up your dick hole. Dude, I ain't no ho, son. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'll fucking put four packs of fucking uh, Splenda under my tongue and take a nap, you motherfuckers. Yeah, that's cool, bro. You're so. aggressive with it, man. God, like, you're aggressive shit, boy. Too. I put two quarts of honey in my asshole, boy. You know what I'm saying? And go for a run, that dude, sticky, backwards. That sticky hitter, bro. Shit, bro. That yeah, sticky that's hitter, what dude. Y'all afraid of a little fucking sugar, bro? <laughs> Damn, bro. You afraid of a little sucrose, big dog? Huh? You, you never had some pop rocks in your dick hole? Damn, bro, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Live a little bitch. You know Ever what I'm saying? Put nerds in your dick hole? <laughs> dude, I like nerds. How fucking Don't fuck your teeth up, though. Yeah. Sprees, bro. Dude. Ooh. Dude, runt? So good. Holler. <laughs> the strawberry runt? So good. Why not just make all strawberries, though? Because banana, people love the banana, I like too. Banana, banana and strawberry. Get that lime out of my fucking face, really? bro. You like the lime? Sometimes when I feel like I got to fucking change it up, I'll get a lime one. Yeah. But the bananas, boy. I like the bananas myself. God. I like the grape ones, too. Grape. Yeah. You guys like the grape ones? Yeah, grape. Well, That's yeah, grape, dude. Derek. See, I wasn't going to go there. That's why I said you guys. Yeah. Because as soon as I went, I went, mm, black guy grape. No. You gotta That's go the way kill, my brain bro. worked, bro. You got to nope. go for the kill. That's too obvious okay. for the kill, dude. You're right. Sorry, Derek. It's okay, bud. What else you got? We, uh, this is our, Up next is our homie from Ireland. Hey, what else are you going to invent next, Theo? Barbecue sauce? <laughs> <laughs> gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Uh, I'm going to miss you in fucking Dublin, Theo. But congratulations on your movie, bro. Anyway, Thanks, who would win in a fight? Tommy Lee Jones or Harrison Ford? Uh, that happened. It's called The Fugitive. Did Harrison, oh, Harrison Ford won. Happen. He jumped out of the goddamn waterfall. <clears throat> he goes, I didn't do it. Tommy Lee goes, I don't care. <laughs> and then he jumps. Really? Yeah. Harrison Ford for the win. It's also Harrison Ford. Dude, Indiana Jones? What has Tommy Lee Jones done that anything's impressive? Men Tommy, in Black? What else? Tommy Lee Jones? Harrison Ford? Come on, bro. Tommy Lee Jones, that's his name? Yes. Tommy Lee Jones. The he's not a boxer. <laughs> no, he's an actor from Men in Black. He's the guy yeah. that shot Abe Lincoln. Harrison Ford's a senior citizen, dude. Dude, Tommy so. Lee Jones is older. Is he? Yeah, and he has pizza face. What is Tommy Lee Jones? Can you bring it up? No Country for Old Men is one of his big ones. Wow. Uh, he yeah. was something else, though. That's not ringing a bell. Uh, Give me that milk. There's a movie where he's boy. a cheerleading coach with Cedric the Entertainer. How, yeah. how dare you? Like how that. dare mean you? Mean Girls? <laughs> not, not Mean Girls, but I think it's called. Oh, uh, bring like, it on. Close. It's something like that. A buddy of mine's mom banged Sinbad a long time ago. Let me see Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> he's Can from the Denver. I'm surprised my mom didn't. <laughs> yeah. It's Sinbad, bro. Yeah. It's he's Sinbad. And he claps. Dude, yeah, that's Tom, Tommy, Tommy Lee, Lee Jones, Jones got nuts under his eyes. Dude, here's the thing about Harrison Ford, bro. Look at his eyes, dude. That's gonna, that, that's how you're going to look, Theo. Those are glasses on he has, and those are the rims of them near the no, base No, they're not, face. dude. Those are his eyes. Well, Derek doesn't ever zoom on anything, so we have no idea what things are. <laughs> yeah, glasses. Yeah, dude. zoom in, though. They're nuts under his eyes, dude. Glasses are not. Yeah. They're glad. They're the bottom reflection of glasses. Nobody has nuts under their eyes, dude, unless they had... They were in a fire in the cot in the they, they do it on purpose. Yeah, you know, a lot of times like, they take like your nuts that and put it on your somebody eyes. Somebody got a view. That guy looks a little bit like me. Yeah, he does. 
You guys are gonna be similar. But what's his big? Bring up his uh, his credit. I'm trying. We're missing a big one because Tommy Lee Jones is one of the biggest actors in the world. The Fugitive <laughs> Standard. Yeah, man. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be there in Ireland, but I'll come see you in January. We're gonna reschedule for January. And I'm gonna say this: that your boy's out there next April. Are you? Buzz, Buzz. Ooh, Batman Forever. He was the he was the Joker. Dude, he was Two Face in that. No, he's Two Face in that, yeah. bro. Yeah, he is. I'll take care of him for. Uh, oh, blown away. He's amazing and blown away. Under Siege, That's a good JFK, one. JFK is a good one. Dude, he had that fucking hit. I like Goodwill Hunting, bro. But I'm gonna say. <laughs> Yeah, they're cool. I don't know who would win, dude. A couple of old guys fighting. If they're fighting in real life or their characters are fighting. Whoever's asshole doesn't blow out when they square up. You know what I'm oh. saying? At that age, what are you going to do, bro? Yeah. They shouldn't be fighting. Yeah. I think if you really want them to fight, man, I would watch them fight. But, God, it's going to be. I wouldn't watch from up close. I'd watch from far away. Yeah. And also, Harrison Ford, pretty old. He's, like, crashing planes all the goddamn time. I heard he's high. 24-7. Yeah, they say he definitely prefers a little Smokes bit of Smokes the a, reefer, gets in his private plane, and crashes. Look, I'd say Harrison Ford, bro. If you like to drink and fly planes, dude, that sounds like the most Irish thing I've ever heard in my life, dog. <laughs> also, he's Indiana so, Jones, bro. Yeah. Come on. Bro, yeah. And he's uh, he's crashing planes, dude. He's living his life, bro. Oh, he's also in the original Star Wars, dude. Oh, yeah. 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 What are we even talking yeah, about? Yeah, what are we talking about? He's been to space. Yeah. What are you talking about? Harrison Ford all gutted. Gang, bro. What people pick? 65% Harrison. It's closer than I thought. Yeah, that is close. And God bless Ireland, dude, and God bless Scotland, dude. Time to pay the bills. You ever buy something online, Brandon? I mean, yeah, all the time, dude. Okay, cool. But, but it's you so find expensive. out later and that you had a they, they had a discount that you missed? Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's annoying. You ever buy like a little dragon statue and then you're like, oh dang, could have got this for six bucks, got it for nineteen. Yeah, I buy lava lamps for a hundred dollars, then find out they're a lot cheaper down the road. Bro, there's one right behind you for free, man. Oh, what? But honey is a free browser add-on that finds you the best deals online. I don't have to worry about missing a deal anymore? It's that last moment before you click buy, you click honey, it builds right in your browser, it's right there on your, like on your, if you're using Firefox or Chrome oh, it's or built whatever, in. it's you right there in. on the bar, and you're like, oh, boom, let me see if there's a better place I can get this. I shop like normal, and then honey handles the rest? Yep, if you're going to buy, like I bought some new AirPods the other day, I thought it was going to be $219. Wrong. Get honey, boom, it's like, oh, you can save 16% Talk over about here. a sweet deal deal oh and we're not talking about robbing the bees drip drip so drip. i saved i think maybe 44 dollars or something using honey man and it just because i wasn't thinking honey kind of it does a little bit of extra thinking hold for up you. honey saved 10 million members an average of 28 bucks that's crazy that's a lot of money man. honey members have already saved more than 800 million dollars overall it has a hundred thousand five-star reviews on the google chrome store here's the thing it's free yep Two clicks to install, it's free. Yep, think Look, about saving money. Yeah, Boom. there's no reason not to use Honey. It's it, free to use, easy to install, and on your computer in just two clicks. So shop with confidence, get Honey for free, and join honey.com slash cats. Yep, that's joinhoney.com slash K-A-T-S, J-O-I-N-H-O-N-E-Y.com slash K-A-T-S. The smart shopping assistant that saves you time and money when you're shopping online. Knock, knock. Who's there? Patheon and Brendan. All right, boys. You ready for a little uh, relationship advice? Uh, yeah. Let's help people, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. what we do best. Is it? I think so, man. Yeah, you're right, actually, bro. We're doing all right. We're this all right. is uh, from Aiden. This is from Aiden from Georgia. Another Moby. Oh, What's oh. good? Brendan, Theo, gang, gang, buzz, buzz, relationship advice. Um, I was into this girl mm. who I found out uh, was a lesbian. And it kind of sucked. Typical. Things didn't work out. Mm -hmm. And then ever since then, every girl I've been into, I find out they're a lesbian. Like, no matter what, I didn't even know that many lesbians existed. <laughs> but I'm an art student. You know, these girls are like, not kind of butch, but, you know, weird hair colors, weird clothing, maybe experimental with socialism. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it's my type. Mm -hmm. But yeah, ever since then, it's been lesbians left and right, and I don't know what to do. Man, help me break this curse. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. I see what's going on here. Lesbians to the left. Yeah, Lesbians to, to the right. right. <laughs> Listen, quit hitting on girls with the same haircut as Theo. That's your problem. <laughs> the other thing is, do you think that maybe they're lying to you because it's just not into you? If it keeps happening, they might be lying, dude. They don't hurt your feelings. 
Look, man, here's the thing. Barking up the wrong tree. A lot of lesbianism out there these days, and a lot of women that don't even know if they are lesbians, but have just been, you know, listening to Chelsea Handler too much. Mm -hmm. So you got a lot of, like, misplaced, you know, sexual identity going on. It's so hot to be gay right now. Yeah, and it's also also hot to just be an angry lady who doesn't ever use her vagina for any joy. And get on Twitter and hate on dudes. Or to have children. Yeah, you're right. just to like accuse people of crimes within uh, that happened inside of it. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying this, brother, if you're at an art school, dude, look, if a lady has more than, if she has a bunch of paint in her backpack, dude, she's probably a lesbian, bro. <laughs> dude, if she's rolling her jeans up and she has some Doc Martens on and black yeah. fucking nail polish, she's sucking tits dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is easy to figure it out bro bro this is no sherlock holmes situation yeah analyze she, what's going on if bro. she has some jinkos with a couple of fucking uh with more than one keychain on it dog oh. dude if she has a green day shirt on <laughs> probably sucking tits bro yeah if she sees you with a hot chick and fucking goes like this <laughs> oh. Is that dude? And it's some a lot of those women are angry, man. A lot of them are angry, and so I think. But if you're taking a girl out to a date and she like, um, how do you know if a girl's a lesbian when you take her out? What do you guys think? If she offers to change the tire and pay for the meal and do everything the dude does and fuck you at the end of the meal, probably that might be wifey. <laughs> that might be wifey though. You know what I'm saying? That might be wifey for some. That sounds horrible. Dude, having to fuck on a full stomach, dude. Yeah, oh no! You take me for a pasta dinner and then I get a fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, girl. Bro, I'll fuck on a Saturday morning and that's it. Yeah, empty you know stomach. Empty stomach. After a run, catch me then yes. or catch me next life. Yeah. You know, I'm that reincarnation cock, honey. You can catch me next time. Don't feed me a whole cheese pizza and then expect me to lay it down. Yeah, bro. Or slap it like Derek. It don't, ain't happening, bro. Don't feed me a cheese pizza and call me Big Randy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, don't feed me a that. don't feed me a foot long sub and expect my foot long. It ain't happening, bro. <laughs> Oh, I got a full <laughs> stomach. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> Barely feel you. Let's go. What were you going to say, Kat? How do you know if uh, she sucks pussy or not? <laughs> well, first of all, we don't say pussy on here. What do we say? Huh? What should say I say? You already said tits, and that was good. People oh, okay. got it. Tits were good. All right. Well, I Jesus want to emphasize Christ. to Kat. I don't People know. know. It's hard. It's hot girl it's hard summer to tell. right now. People are doing whatever they want. Hot girl you summer. I got a romper on. Mm-hmm. Maybe he should hook up with a lesbian chick and see if she goes straight afterwards. Like you know what? what he's get, just switching them he up. He can't, though. I think he keeps taking women out. He's basically... Oh, lesbians, they're not like gay dudes. Like, they're not even going to f- fuck with a dick. Dude, like, if every girl thing. you take out is just a lesbian and you're at the... It sounds like you might just be... Um, which one of those people that shows you around school at the beginning of school when you get there? An oh. RA? No, it's um, it's kind of like that, but it's like, remember you come to school a f- few days early and they yeah, show you around? Yeah, and they show you around. Orientation. Yeah, you might just be, or, do you work for the orientation group? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Yeah, are you new to campus? <laughs> yeah, yeah, What's right. going on? You think you're trying to fuck everybody and they're just not into it? And dude, if you're taking a lesbian out, bro, you need to also, you, I would get a female wig on. I, yeah, I would try and run the threesome game, you know what I'm saying? He can't get a one-some, dude. Yeah, but if she's into other girls, you're like, dude, let's toss some cock no, in it. that's a good idea. Toss oh. a cock in the wrench. No, she's in other girls. I know, but why not have him in there? But I think if you're a guy and a girl won't hook up with you, you can't be like, hey, not only don't hook up with me, don't hook up with me and my buddy. <laughs> it's a tough game, dude. Welcome. To you sh- know what? I like this guy. He likes a challenge. Dude, I think you've been... Uh... Mission Impossible, as I call it. Bro, you've been drinking diesel out of some of them food trucks, dude. You need to fucking yeah, calm you might down, be right, bro. bro. You Brendan might be right, Matt dude. Strikes again. Yeah. You might be right, dude. The only oh, reason dude. I started this show because I thought Theo was a lesbian <laughs> and so hot right now. And I find out he's not. Todd girl, summer. he's into dudes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever, dude. I'm into chicks, bro. With tits, boy. Two tits, hey, too. Whatever, bro. Yeah. Not yeah, a, we all believe that. I'm into those double. Titted chicks, boy. <laughs> Find me around some titas, boy, and some cooter, son, like a champion. I feel you. This guy wishes he could get there. Good luck, man. Quit hollering at lesbians, though. You feel me? Yeah, you'll be fine, dude. <laughs> That's your problem, dude. Yeah, you're playing baseball. And everyone else is playing football. Switch it up, bro. You're the wrong game. Yeah, I think if you're only catching lesbians, you got to change your bait. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's the way you dress, dude. 
Yeah, maybe wear some, maybe wear like a football t-shirt or something or a jersey. Yeah, let them know you're a straight heterosexual man. Yeah. So right now you might be throwing mixed signals. Put some, you might have a romper on. Yeah, put some elk on. Put a little bit of elk on your neck. Yeah, spray a little elk fucking shit on your neck. Yeah, Take a little beef piss. jerky and just fucking put it behind the ears a little bit so these bitches know you smell like Slim Jim. Yeah, dribble a little bit of ear piss, a deer piss on the back of your bald head. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Show your work, boy. Don't just get to the answer, show your work. Take a little gravy, put it on your... <laughs> Fucking tits, dude. What? They love that, man. That's man. No, you're making stuff up. Yeah, you right. <laughs> you right. That was too much. What else we got, dude? Oh, but you guys want to rip a little drip? Yeah, we'll rip some Jeez, drip. Is that all we've been doing? I feel like all we do is just make fun of people and then go home. I feel like we I feel like we make fun of each other and everyone else is pretty safe. <laughs> really? <laughs> I feel like we help that guy out. He's gonna look at his wardrobe like, you know what? I am dressing like a lesbian. What else you got? Dude, right. I'll tell you this. You're yeah, and if you, if the lesbians keep coming at you, boy, then you know, I don't then know. Then tuck your dick. Fight them, bro. No, tuck, <laughs> dude. No, don't fight them. Tuck your dick, bro. Why and join the club. Fight, though. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta you gotta hit a bitch of the body. My buddy got uh, beat up by two lesbians, dude, last month at a, um outside of a Crystal Burger. Well, he probably deserved it, dude. No, he didn't. Why? What did he do? Huh? He didn't do anything. He was looking for something outside of his car. He dropped something. And they just beat him up. Yeah. Those lesbians are rough too, dude. Especially for the butch kind. Yeah. You gotta hit a bitch to the body. Liver shot. Don't hit him in the face. Yeah, go with those liver shots, boy. Yep. Good call. Dustin Poirier liver shot, bro. Dustin Poirier, dude, in two rounds, son. Ooh. Going to beat that ass and go back to the hotel early, bro. I hope you're right, you know dude. Same, boy. Up first, this is Ivan Cardenas. This is Ivan. Damn. This is Rip My Drip? Rip My Drip. Talk yeah. about keto kid. Yeah, he's uh, lost 100 pounds being keto for two years. Congrats, man. That's amazing, bro. Yep. That's life transformative right there. And what else, Derek? That's it? Oh, well, he weighed 265 at 5'9". Look at him now. Look at this guy. That and how much does he weigh now, Brennan? Let's test him. Hold dude, on. Dude, 165 with shredded, boom, 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 boom. shredded <laughs> twisted <laughs> seal, bro. Oof. He is fucking bodied up now, man. Oh, he looks like a seal that does cocaine at the end, bro. He definitely looks real lean out there. Yeah, he does look lean. He looks like a cheetah with glasses right there, dude. <laughs> he looks like definitely like a guy who's kind of like nerdy but sexy, like he's doing crystal math, you know? Yeah. Like he's doing drugs but also really smart. Yeah, like reads Damn, a lot. Bro. Reads a lot, can but also get high as fuck. Oh yeah, he's been smoking that crystal math. <laughs> it looks like he's injecting fucking gravy into his stomach on the left there, though. Well, that motherfucker was, th <laughs> was that thick. motherfucker was thick. Oh, that's how he. he that's definitely... that lasagna hitter right there. Oh, bro, he was Jerry Rice at Lambert's home of the throwed rolls. Can you bring that restaurant up for us real quick? <laughs> Lambert's. Old school, dude. Lambert's. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. He looks like he owns a Sabaros on the left. Is there Sabaros out here? Are uh -huh. we familiar with Sabaros Pizza? I don't uh, know where you're from. Sabaros? You know what it is, It's Cat. S. Barros, the one that's in the airport? Uh, sometimes in an airport. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, first of all, if you eat at a, uh, S. Barros and it's not in the airport, bro, then you're going to hell. Okay? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's... Nobody eats at them. Here we go, Lambert's right throat there. Rolls. Home of the throwed rolls, bro. You ever been there? Uh, Missouri, no, never been there. Now, Lambert's, what they do is you sit anywhere in there and you call for a roll, bro, and from behind the counter they, they freaking throw, it? throw no. that bitch, boy. It's a nice yeah. roll, huh? It's a nice roll. Beautiful breads, brother. Is it uh buttered up? It? Buttered up too? Oh, dude. Now, if you want, I don't catch them butter, bro. I catch them dry and then I butter them myself, dude. I ain't no. <laughs> now I want to throw that fucking. <laughs> Iced up hitter towards me, oh, dude. dude. You're like Baloo. The, it's a bare necessity. You're a simple <laughs> bare necessity. Yeah, I'd you're love like that. Baloo, dude. You can't uh, you can't catch a buttered roll, bro. I'm down though. You know, what I, I'm I, saying? I Mix fucking it catch up. dry breads, baby. I bet you do, Playboy. And I butter them hoes myself. But this guy looks like Jerry Rice on the left of Lambert's home with the throwed rolls, bro. Like he was setting <laughs> records, bro. Just catching them rolls left oh, and right, yeah, Monday boy. through Friday. Yeah, yeah. Now he's Mr. Steal Your Girl on the right. He is Shred City, dude. Yeah. Proud of him, man. That's the real keto kid. You oh, know how hard that is to ribs, do, man? Bro. Two years. Bro, he looks like, yeah. It looks like he changed fucking ethnicities. Yeah. He's Muslim on the left, Mexican on the right. Really, to me, he's more, yeah, I could see, uh, I don't know, man. I don't even know. He looks good, though. I don't know about that. I mean, he looks like a nice guy. <laughs> I mean, he looks healthier. I'm not going to say he looks good, dude. You know what I'm saying? Because I got, you know, I want to have a family and stuff. I feel you. All right, what else we got here? What else here? we got? Uh, up, up next. Okay. <laughs> yes, Stupid. Uh, this is... right, every time we do one of these episodes, 
I feel like my I'm waiting for my car to get fixed, and it's just like <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to get fixed so, so we can so leave. So we can get out of here. <laughs> like Jesus Christ, man! How long has it taken him to fix this fucking thing, bro? It was just a windshield wiper replacement. We were here for two hours. It was a it was a slow leak on my tire, dude. Why is this taking three hours? What do you got? This is from a a guy named Kisher. He got arrested. Or, or saw a lady get arrested from a steroided up Theo. And who are we ripping oh, the guy wow. on the right or on the, or the, oh, right the guy, guy on the left? Right here. Damn. It's two guys? Th this is a young lady, but look at this cop right here. I mean, that guy does look a little Theo ish. Dude, the nose. And that guy the is chin. jacked. Yeah, I am jacked, dude, if I'm a cop. That guy's Jack City. I only bro. slimmed down for comedy. That makes sense. That's what I'm trying to do, bro. I leaned out for the humor, but... Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm trying Yeah, I was jacked, and I was on the force, dude. That was me, boy. Look at you, patrolling. It really does. I feel like that looks like probably... Actually, it looks a little... He looks little... like your older brother that made better decisions. <laughs> God, He looks like your older brother where he can have two bears and not go to rehab. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to work. <laughs> Theo's yeah, the only guy that had two beers and went to rehab. <laughs> That's true, bro. Good call. I will say this. He also looks a little bit, though, like John Cena. Ooh, he he does. does. And he looks a little bit like Bruce Banner that used to play the original Incredible Hulk. Oh, you're right. With a little bit of touch of the downs. Yeah, he's got a touch of that tism, but all. He looks like if you're a proud boy, he's going to beat the fuck out of you, oh, too. God. You don't want to come around his way either, bro. He looks like he'll do some protein right off your freaking butthole, some protein powder right I'll off your suck butt. Suck that fucking whey protein right off your neck. Oh, boy. You feel me? Oh, he'll drain your newts. Yeah. He'll drain your newts of some grams of freaking wet protein. <laughs> yeah, boy's bodied up. I'll tell you that, that right now. Look how big huh? his dick beaters are, too. How many guns too? you think he has on? You think he has pants on? I don't on? even think he needs guns, dude. You think he has underpants on, or what is it? No, nah, he gets a blowout ass at the back. Oh, dude, why do you ruin everything? Why am I ruining that? We're talking about how jacked this dude is. Look how fucking well, I'm trying big to support the police, dude. Dude, look at his forearms. over here, man. Why am I getting gay? You don't think he has some ham hocks out the back of that Dallas fucking police force? Dude, I... I dude. Talk about the Dallas Cowboys. This bro, he's a fucking real Jerry Jones hitter here. Oh, this they guy. should sign him right now. Dude, as is tight that end. Jason Witten? I think this that's is what Jason I'm saying. Witten. They should sign him as tight end. Jeez. Bro, definitely. I bet this guy's mace. I bet he has different flavors of mace, bro. <laughs> different flavored proteins of mace. This guy definitely seemed like a nice guy. Yeah, he does. I wish he was protecting me at all times. <laughs> what? Oh, that's crazy, bro. Is he looking for Bro, me? you're being homoerotic, bro. <laughs> Why, bro? I'm headed to Dallas. I want him at the shows to protect me. <laughs> oh, to talk to me at night. Maybe give me a drive around. Man. By drive around, I mean a... <laughs> <laughs> By drive around, you mean what? Every story you talk about, some dude ends up busting all over you by the end of it. This has got to stop, I don't think stop, so, bro. Man. This ain't fitting in with my church. You should sell him some honey mustard. What else we got? All right, boys. We'll end it with a little king and her sting. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Bless you, Theo. Thank you. I'm back. Up first, this is Raziel from London. Yo, Theo. Yo, Brendan. Go quick, king and sting it for you guys. Dang, bro. Foot fetishes. What do you think? As a foot connoisseur, I've been wondering myself, where does one find these feet pictures of cat? Let me know. Help brother out. Also, Theo, see you in September. Brendan, probably never going to see you, man, but keep up the good work. Love the hair. And uh, yeah. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. He said gang, gang first. I like to say that, but he I would also like to buzz, say buzz. this, that he, <clears throat> I won't be there in September, man, but I will be there later on. I just don't want to. Where's he at? think that. London. He's in London and he's, um, he's a, I guess, British. He's a Londonite. He's one of those. He's English. You English. dumb fucks. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> Why? What did he say? Nothing. You call him a London knight and he called him a Britishite? I don't know. Dude. <laughs> it's like I get dumber coming here and I need all the brains. Dude, all I, I say is tell him Scotland is free, brother. I've never been into feet, really. And then Cat came <laughs> around. Oh. Has the hottest feet in the game. You know what she they say? She can make a lot of money, dude. A cat always lands on his feet. Let's hear from the uh, footstress herself. <laughs> I mean, how about the a tarsals? nice foot is, is great, but it I don't nice. understand yeah. the fascination to certain people's extent of paying for pictures of nice feet, mm -hmm. personally. Would I mean, you, you, you can look up people's feet online. Every celebrity has like their own wikis, like foot Sandals page. and shit. Yeah. Would my, you, my feet are hideous. Are yours cool? Uh, we're talking about women's feet right now. Let's you're right, you're right. Back to Cat. Cat has the it. best feet. 
Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Cal Cat, would you sell pictures of your feet or not? She could make so much money doing it. I had a whole game plan for her, and she didn't want to do it. Well, let her answer. Yeah, go ahead, Look, Kat. My, I Later. truly believe that my feet are meant for is meant for marriage, the mm -hmm. institution of marriage. That's yeah. the one thing Just that your feet? I need to keep sacred. Oh wow! Her, to my relationship. Oh feet. wow! Oh fuck! You're serious, Cat? Yeah, I'm dead serious. Yep. What? Are you really? Yeah. Oh, I thought she was. I was like, holy fuck. Right. You probably went back home. Your man beat the shit out of you for, with these feet. Look, if you want to put it in her tarsals, bro. <laughs> What's up gonna... with that big toe, girl? Yeah. I've never been a foot guy, but then Kat came around. But she's always covering the puppies mm -hmm. up. you never been a foot guy, dude? Never been a big foot guy. Wow. You I like mean... feet? Yeah, dude. I respect like the fact hooves? that women stand on feet and have feet, bro. <laughs> I don't think that women just float in the air. You're an idiot, man. Let's go. I will say that a woman's foot says a lot about her and how well she takes care of herself, though. Mm -hmm. Preach. If you don't take care of your feet, you're, prob you're probably not taking care of other things. Oh, you're right. They yep, I like, like a little tad on that foot. I like a little bit of paint on the end, but a um, hard part at the top. I'll tell you what, I don't even mind a little bunion out the back. Oh, that, means damn. You, that means you're putting in work, girl. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got some friends who work in the nightlife industry. Their feet are fucked up because they're constantly in high heels, fucking popping bottles. They're working yeah. hard, making that cash. <sighs> I went mine a good foot massage, man. You ever had a good foot massage? Oh, yeah. That is heaven on earth, dude. And they're tough to find. Dude, sometimes that Asa Akira, she gives massages online. Really? Oh, dude. I pay hard, uh, those aren't massages, cold bro. cash for that. What? Those aren't massages, dude. Watching somebody masturbate? <laughs> no, nah, they're massages, dude. Should jack you off with her feet, too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Up next, we got Aaron from Colorado. Brendan, Theo, I'm here in Brendan's home state, Colorado. Beautiful. Got a question for you. Wow, wow. Rock climbing. King it or sting it. <sighs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I love that. That's awesome. First of all, that's, that's crazy, cool. bro. That what a crazy. beautiful submission. <laughs> what a great that's submission. That's one of our best man. submissions. Oh, I right agree. There. That was Top creative, one. man. Dude, rock climbing, real badass. You ever cl tried climbing rocks? Yeah, my sister used to do drugs, and she climbed rock climbed <laughs> up to a uh, nudist colony in Arizona once. <laughs> <laughs> bro, and they stayed for lunch. They were on drugs, her and some guy she was seeing. What's her feet like? Uh, I don't know what her feet are like, <laughs> Just kidding, man. bro. Um, I'm all about rock climbing. You ever see the, what was the documentary? The Solo Bird, where the fuck it was? Free Solo? Free Solo. Yeah. <laughs> You ever see Hope Solo's cooter pics on the internet, boy? <laughs> Damn, bro. I'll tell you right you now. You want to climb some Talk about a free, dude. <laughs> that dude said, yo, let me get a sexy pic. She said, cool, asshole. <laughs> so aggressive, dude. And her feet, she got some flappers. She well, has size 15. I don't think that was a foot, brother. <laughs> but I'll say this, man. That's you have a beautiful point. state there. The and best. I'll see you end of the September, by the way. Comedy Works. You have a beautiful state there, brother, in Colorado. And uh, what was his question? Uh, rock climbing, king of the sting. Oh, you got to oh, be yeah. a real badass and strong as fuck. Rock climbing is cool. They got those gyms where you could climb. and REI, um, bro. Yeah, and dress up and... Uh, and yeah, it's very exciting. I think it's a nice thing you're doing with somebody that you care about back there. You got a little lady in the back right there. You have to trust her, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh. rock climbing, definitely, King. You got to be a real badass to rock climb. And really trustworthy, dude. Think about this, bro. You don't like your mate that much. Y'all go out there because you have to have the other person helps you so much, right? Yeah. But with belaying you and stuff. <clears throat> So let's climb up first and put the rope in, you know what I'm saying? Dude. Whoops, beer growls. Yeah. This is the uh, this is the new um, cruise to Aruba. This is the new Dominican yeah. Republic right <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah, it is rock climbing. Take your girl rock climbing. Yeah, take your girl rock climbing and Fell. come back on tender. Yeah, I'm surprised, more, <laughs> I'm surprised more people don't do that, dude. Yeah. It's so, I mean, how could you prove it? Yeah, I know, huh? It's a brilliant idea if you want right to murder video. somebody. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good thinking, Watch dude. two years from now, dude. We have to testify in a case because somebody learned that on this show. <laughs> Dang, oh, man. Shout right. out to Rock Climbing. Last one, boys. This is Monte Emmonson. And what a great name for somebody, Rock Climbing. Hey, Theo, Brennan, got a king and a stinger for you. Screamo music, heavy metal, stuff like this. That's Ice Nine Kills, by the way. King and a stinger, gang, gang, buzz, buzz. 
Buzz, Buzz, dude. What are you so angry about? He doesn't seem angry, bro. He seems safe. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. That music is so intense. But he is wearing bright green. That's a safe color. Nothing's oh, yeah. going to happen to him ever. <sighs> Did he just get ever. done with some sort of marathon? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's bright. Scream too music. thick to be a marathon runner, though. You feel me? I don't know. You don't know if he's. Ah, Bert Kreischer now. runs. Does he? Oh, yeah. He runs yeah, marathons that's all the time. Yeah, that boy's thick. Uh, screamo music's hard to deal with sometimes. Um, I, I don't know. I don't listen to it. For me, it's too intense. I got enough screamo music inside of my brain. I got my own screamo soundtrack going on in my head, and it's driving me fucking nuts. Yeah. Um, it's also way too violent, man. Screamo? I used to listen to that, uh, ska music when I was young. When we'd go to, go to mosh pits, you know, and like some band would always start up. I mean, you mean like corn? Like Skinny Puppy or just like, or, you know, some weird name like Hurt Grandparent or something. <laughs> and they would have Hurt two Grams. songs and they would play them nine times in a row. And you and just it would, mosh pit it, it up? It would just be people mosh pitting. That's all it was. And then somebody would get hurt and then yeah, like, you know. Stop. Yeah, and they put yeah they put calamine lotion on you and shit, drag you out, yeah, sweaty dude. as fuck, yeah. And yeah. now it was it was like a sense of camaraderie and stuff that I really really did miss about it, uh, just like being in mosh pits and stuff like that. But then some asshole always came through. Mosh pitting was really like early UFC for some people, yeah. And then also it was like kind of like a brotherhood for other people. But then some people started training for yeah. the mosh pit and yeah. fucking people up. So you had like Ray Lewis in the mosh pit, You're like, yeah. dude, what are we doing, man? <laughs> Why are you 6'4", 270 pounds? We're kids. Yeah. You stop. Do people still mosh? Um, I don't Is this yeah. still a thing? Oh, yeah. Where? Tra I went to that Travis Scott concert. They were moshing. Travis Scott? Moshing. Like, I mean, he had roller Sicko coasters mode? and everything. Oh, yeah. Wow. And moshing. They're, mo they're moshing to Full, rap? Like, you know how they, they make the circle? They spread yeah. the circle out? And then when the song drops, they fucking charge each other? Dude, kids are crazy, crazy bro. Black kids doing it. Really? The, they were black. I almost said the blacks. You did. Black. I saw that. Is, in that, a, race, is that racist? No. No. I think I'm blackies. Just a, safely mosh. I didn't say blackies. Yeah, you didn't say that. Was it like a safe mosh vibe? You feel? No. Like? They, they man, them black dudes were getting. Do you get some athletic dudes running four fours <laughs> running into each other? <laughs> Oh, you mean it's the Pittsburgh Steelers, yeah. Baltimore Ravens? Dude, Is that what you mean? That the, the fucking a sicko concert? Bro, the cool runnings of Mosh Pits, bro. Wow. They Damn. Over. Were they it's jumping over. over each other and shit? Oh, they were backflips. It was crazy. Dude, <laughs> anytime it's an athletic event and white people are doing it, black people go, let me see. And just, <laughs> yeah. They take over, bro. Except for there's some events that's not like that. Hockey. Rock climbing. Swimming. <laughs> swimming. Hockey. Swimming. Rock climbing. Black lava, as they call it. <laughs> <laughs> so what else? What else? Horse UFC. Riding. John Jones, best fighter on planet Earth. Miosic won last the other night. Doesn't matter. But black, black people. J John, John Jones, Jones is the best, of the best though? By but he's on drugs, though. Well, no. He passed the last test. Then one Demetrius, out of 20? <laughs> Damn, well, he still passed. <laughs> one out of 20 is a 5% Demetrius where I'm from. Johnson before that, though. If you yeah, want to talk about pound no, you're right. great. I mean, uh, but uh, no, I In general, agree to white that. people dominate, though. Well, I think it's a fair, I think that's a sport where it's, it's Brazil, even. Brazilians for a while dominated. White dudes are coming back in the NBA with a lot of the European basketball players. Yeah. A little bit. They really yeah, are. Yeah, they are. And black dudes are getting softer, some of them. You're starting to see mixed black dudes. Dude. <laughs> Bro, Ben Simmons will never fucking, in my heart, bro, hold a candle to fucking my boy Sam Perkins or Charles Oakley. Oh, bro. not even close. It's just getting a lit. I think in-, in a, John Stark would run circles around him. Two generations, you're going to have like a guy looks just like John Stark, but with black skin and like, but with white John Stark hair. And it's going to be really, that's when Strange. everything's going to be way even yet. Yeah, you're right. The NBA is soft as fuck. But those Europeans coming over are pretty gangster. Jokic, bad boy. Bro. Probably get MVP. Yeah, Dude, I was talking to um, Blake Griffin, right, about just asking him, I said, does any player still smoke cigarettes in the oh, league, yeah. right? And he said, he goes, man, there was a player that I played with a couple years ago. I can't remember the guy's name. He goes, and he was a chain smoker. And uh, I think he, he, but he was a good player. He was a good player, yeah. He was from Croatia, I think. And he goes, but at a certain point after his second season, they're like, hey, you can't. But it'd be crazy because you'd be on the court and it would just be fucking <laughs> smelling like cigarettes. Lottie Divac. Lott, didn't Lottie Divac smoke cigarettes yeah, nonstop, bro. dude? That's savage, bro. Oh, yeah, savage dude. move. That's fucking savage, dog. <laughs> 
playing a pro sport and smoking cigarettes, bro. Those are the real champions. Who are those guys? <laughs> who I want to know. Clint who, Eastwood of the sports league. You who know, played on drugs, bro. Lawrence Taylor. Yeah. Okay. Oh, dude, what's that fucking uh, the receiver who keeps fucking Mike up? Michael Irvin. No, Michael Irvin was always high. Yeah. Um, Ricky, who played for the? Uh, you talking about the Ricky Henderson? Celtics. No, the Celtics. The basketball player, Ricky Adams. No, Ricky Green. No. Ricky Henderson had to have been on some cocaine how fast he was around the bases. You think? Sometimes you watch people like, mm, too fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drugs. Yeah, I think they should legalize cocaine for some of the games. But they make it fun. For the preseason. Definitely. Definitely. Come on. Just make the team. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> Graham, these dogs up. Dog. I agree, man. Let you them know? do all the PEDs. Oh. Ped up, bro. Yeah, they should have a PED league, bro. They do. It's called the UFC. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that wow. it, Doug? That's it, boys. Jesus. Thank you, we guys. We did it, bro. Gang, man. Uh, we did it, brother. Gang and Buzz. You me shooting a movie, huh? So no tour dates for a little bit. Yeah, no tour dates. I will still be in Biloxi. I mean, uh, but yeah, I'm just sorry that I had to cancel some of these other dates. But I'm going to make them up. Don't I'll... be sorry, brother. You got a great opportunity, and the fans know it. It's yeah. all good. You'll be back. You'll make it up. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I just feel bad, I guess. Yeah, you're you know. sell out. But you're, you're not going anywhere. No, I'm just kidding, bro. <laughs> Actually, I'm I sold Congrats, under. man. Thanks, man. I'm proud of you, man. I know you are. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I'm really proud of you, oh, dude. You're always supportive. Bro. I didn't want to retweet the picture because uh, of the announcement on Deadline because I don't like the picture. That I don't like the picture either. So I was like, oh, because I, okay, I think like you. That's why I said, what the fuck? <laughs> he, he has a thousand pictures. Why not use a current picture? Yeah. So I didn't tweet it. That's why I fucking hate Hollywood, bro. Me too, bro. You take the shittiest picture. Chris Pratt asked me to do the movie directly. That's why I'm doing it. I didn't go through any bullshit. I'm not dealing with these fucking hoes. No, he's out still there. Hollywood sold out. But listen, that's not what this is about. This is about <laughs> you. <laughs> but dude, he said we're going to fight aliens. That's what he said. Come on, Star He goes, as we go to the future to fight aliens, do you want to come help me? That's what he said, dude. I would have And he beat I, aliens before. He did a couple times. He's done a few times Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> so, bro, I ain't also, <laughs> he did beat a T Rex. You know what I'm saying? Twice. Jurassic Park, son, twice. Dude, I ain't rolling into the future with some fucking half wit. You nah, know what I'm dude, saying? Do the best. <laughs> yeah, dude, I ain't, I ain't rolling up there with uh, Jack Black. You feel <laughs> me, dude? Nah, you can't do that, bro. So I got to roll in there with a real hitter. You can't do it with Seth Rogen. You know oh, what I'm saying? You got to do it with a that, fucking bro. hitter. I ain't losing to a couple of fucking bald eagles like Seth Rogen does. <laughs> bro, I'm, the only way I roll up is with hitters, man. Same as here, dude. Word, dog. Gang, bro. Proud of you, man. Thanks, bro. Dustin the Diamond Poirier in two rounds, dude. Take that to the blind. I hope bro. you're right, bro. The Dag diamond. a stand, bro. Dag a fall, bro. That's what I'm saying. Let's see it go down. Dag, oh, dag a fall, bro. Yeah, dag bro. Dag a fall. I dude, hope you're right, dude. I'll be at the jewelry store, son. Diamonds. Bro. Diamond up, bro. Let's get some diamonds. Um, Where will I will you be, man? I'm going to be in Houston, 20th and 21st. I love Houston, September, bro. Houston Improv. Uh, Big D will be there Ooh, slapping. Culture, culture. And then I'll be in uh, Denver, end of the month, September. Get your tickets, tfatk.com. Oh, uh, yep. And that's it, man. I'll, we'll reschedule the tour dates that I do have to change. I think we're going to go to Europe in January. And uh, and thank you guys for your I'm support. I'm out there in April, dog. Are you? Yeah. Dude, well, when is this King and the Stink tour going to happen? Because after this tour I'm doing, I'll I, I, I make up these dates. I'm, we got to figure I'm it out. I'm taking a break. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Whoa. What happened? <laughs> hey. Bro, bro. <laughs> no, dude. What's up, bro? Damn, dude, you got some fucking tits, oh, bro. Oh, God, man. What's up, bros? My you got mama. a fucking yeast infection, bro. You got tits, daddy. It looks like I'm allergic. These things are swollen. <laughs> oh, some tits. Look at this slick rabbit is Ooh. loose. Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch me, bro, but keep touching me, bro. I like that jewelry shop you got by your nipples. <laughs> hey, why don't you get some honey mustard out? Let's get wow. wild. I'm Indiana Jones in, bro. Yeah. I'm bro. Indiana Jones in for a Cleveland steamer, dog. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Jesus gang, Christ. gang, buzz, buzz. 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 Oh, oh. It's the king of the sting.